action. I said I think to learn who you want to is a right that no man should have anything to do with. It's a God-given right, I think. How would you know? Oh, no, 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 no. I do date black men, but I also date Chinese, Latino, Jewish, the full spectrum. That's mm -hmm. not really a mm -hmm. consolation for this particular <laughs> well, argument that we're having. Well, it's not supposed to be. All I'm this. saying is I know you think I should date black men, but I'm going to date who I like. Mildred Loving married the boy next door, Richard Loving. Richard Loving is a construction worker, Mildred Loving, the daughter of a sharecropper. They were born and raised in Caroline County, Virginia, where white and colored people seem unaware of the racial prejudice that exists in much of the country. White chick, it's like, damn, that's impressive. When I see a white man dating a black chick, and this is already starting to sound a little bit misogynistic because we're sort of treating women like they're trophies when they're actually people. The Lovings didn't know that it was a crime for a white person to marry a Negro in Virginia. They found out the hard way. But I didn't realize how bad it was until we got married. Black men date out their race more than all other men put together. You know why? Racial inferiority. We don't think we're as good as the white man, so we need the white woman in order for us to feel an artificial sense of equality. It is self-hatred to the 20th power. I'm not against white women, but I support black women. And in my support of black women, I cannot condone interracial dating. Full of love themselves, they didn't expect to find hate in others. Their home swarms with children, their own three, as well as neighborhood friends, who enjoy the warmth here. Mrs. Loving recalls how the ordeal began one night in 1958. The, the night we were arrested, mm -hmm. um, I guess it was about 2 a.m. And I saw this light, you know, and I woke up and there was the policeman standing beside the bed. <laughs> and he told us to get up. Was under arrest. Here's the definition of miscegenation. Derogatory. Sexual relationships or reproduction between people of different ethnic groups, especially when one of them is white. What was, what was the reaction on the girls' faces? I can't imagine to see the sunlight to be Bro, around people. I knew something was wrong when a little pretty white girl ran into a black man's arms. Something is wrong here. Dead giveaway. Dead Charles, giveaway. Charles, thank you very Dead much. Dead giveaway. Thank you very much for your time. And either she homeless or she got problems. That's the only reason why she run to a black man. Now, back in the day, brothers would get sisters that look like you, Drew, and you, Vera, you know? But now, light skin ain't even good enough. Today, brothers are going for the gusto. I mean, the real McCoy. That's why Flipper's gone. White girls got it made. And anyway, they carried us to Bowling Green and uh, locked us up. And in January, they had the trial. And they uh, told us to leave the state for 25 years. But the way I understood it, the lawyer said that we could come back to visit, you know, when we wanted to. And in my support of black women, I cannot condone interracial dating. But let's look at the economics. Take the romance out. Take the emotion out. Let's look at the economics. Marriage is a business contract. Women, on average, live longer than men. So if I marry a white woman and I die prematurely, rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. I die prematurely, rest in peace, Marvelous, Marvelous Marvin Hagler. That white woman is not going to take any of the wealth that I built as a black man and give it to the black community so we can help regenerate ourselves. She's going to keep that money for herself and all that black money will go back into the hands of white society. Interracial marriage is economic betrayal. We had been down a few times before that, but at Easter we came down, they found that we was down. They arrested us again. The Loving spent five years in a Negro ghetto in Washington, D.C., where they suffered the indignities of unemployment, loneliness, and uncertainty. When one of the children, unused to city streets, was hit by a car, Mrs. Loving decided to act. She wrote a letter to the then Attorney General of the United States, Robert Kennedy, who in turn passed the letter on to a Virginia lawyer, Bernard Cohen, a member of the Civil Liberties Union. How would you know? Oh, no, 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 I do date black men, but I also date Chinese, Latino, Jewish, the full spectrum. That's not mm. really a mm. consolation for this particular <laughs> well, argument that we're having. Well, it's not supposed to be. All I'm saying this. is I know you think I should date black men, but I'm going to date who I like. Give me a man, regardless of the color of his skin, who is nice to me, who is sweet to me, and who I strongly believe loves me. Really? It's not no, about... We have three children and cannot afford an attorney. We wrote to the attorney general. He suggested that we get in touch with you for advice. Please help us if you can. Hope to hear from you real soon. Yours truly, Mr. and Mrs. Richard Loving. And it was that simple letter that got us into this not-so-simple case. Bernard Cohen could and did help the Lovings. He teamed up with another attorney, Phil Hirschkopf, and at no fee, they reopened the Loving case in the Virginia courts, appealing each losing decision, until at last the United States Supreme Court heard these arguments. Arguing protection 
we advance the argument that these statutes are slavery statutes. They're meant to keep the Negro people in the badges and bonds of slavery. Tell me you're a racist without telling me you're a racist. When you live with this woke worldview, all you can do is inject your racial stereotypes onto everybody, even two people who are in a loving relationship. Does it ever cross your mind that maybe two people can love each other without even thinking about their race, without even taking that into account? Pfft, mind blowing, I know. The outrageous civil effects of these statutes are not always apparent right away. For example, if Richard Loving were to die, then Mildred Loving would not be able to collect Social Security benefits as his widow. Uh, what is fundamentally important, though, is we ask the court to decide that a state may not pay, pass a law which proscribes marriage between two consenting, competent adults based on race alone. Yes, you are the reading rainbow. <laughs> we know this about you. Drew, if it'll make you happy, honey, I will make a pilgrimage to Africa, the motherland, and find myself a true tribesman. A true Asiatic black man. With a dick down to his knees to keep yes. me happy for days. Oh, Zulu dick. That's right, girl. Give me some serious Zulu dick in the bush. Oh. Oh, a the attorneys for the state of Virginia refused to talk with ABC. Bernard Cohen described their arguments. They seemed to say that there was a present-day justification for these laws. That is, that uh, uh, they're interested in the welfare of the children of such marriages. Today, the United States Supreme Court handed down a decision. The Loving's ordeal is at last over. Richard and Mildred Loving have won the right to be man and wife, father and mother, in the state of Virginia. Anti-miscegenation laws have been declared illegal not only in Virginia, but in all 16 states that have held such statutes. The greatest American alive.